In this video, I'll be showing you the best beginner credit cards in quarter one of 2023. These are cards designed specifically for people with no or bad credit history or for those looking to get their very first ever credit card. So at number five on the list, we have the Vanquish Classic Credit Card. Vanquish specializes in credit cards for people with bad or no credit history. So if that sounds like you and you've been refused credit elsewhere, this could be a great beginner credit card for you to get. If you're approved for this credit card, your starting credit limit will be between 250 and 600 pounds and that's more than enough to start building up your credit score there are no annual fees for this card and your monthly minimum repayment will be either all of your late fees and charges plus 3.5 percent of your outstanding balance or 10 pounds whichever is the highest of the two but that won't really matter if you use your card properly and pay your balance in full every single month because that will mean you avoid any missed or late payment fees and also avoid the 39.94 percent interest rate that is on the card for eligibility and to apply bankers require your basic details like your address and your residential status contact information like a phone number and email address and also your employment status and what income you receive now before you apply on the Vanquish website there is an option to check your eligibility you should always do this whenever you apply for credit because it gives you an indicator of whether you're likely to be accepted or not because you want to avoid any declined applications because that can have a negative effect on your credit score now there's not really any perks or benefits for the Vanquish classic credit card but the main pros are that it's designed for people specifically with bad or no credit history and it's a lot easier to get approved than other credit cards number four on the list is the capital one classic credit card this again is designed for people with no or bad credit history or people looking to to get their very first card. The Capital One Classic Credit Card is actually Capital One's most popular card with over 4 million people accepted. If you get approved for this card, you'll get a starting credit limit of between 200 and 1,500 pounds, depending on your situation. They also give you two optional credit limit increases throughout the year, as long as you manage your card well. That means making payments on time and not going over your limit. The Capital One Classic Credit Card has no annual fees and has an interest rate of 34.9% APR if you don't clear your balance in full every month. The eligibility for this card is slightly more strict than the Vanquish card, so you're more likely to be accepted if you're over 18, have some history of managing your credit, even if you've got a CCJ or default on your account, and are registered on the electoral roll. However, you're less likely to be accepted if you've not had any form of credit in the UK before, or you've been declared bankrupt in the last 12 months. Again, you should use the Capital One eligibility checker to see if you're likely to be approved before you apply. At number three, we have a bit of a step up because the Tesco bank foundation credit card is not only a beginner credit card but it also offers you rewards which is quite rare to find on beginner credit cards the credit limit once you're approved will be between 250 and 1500 pounds and they will give you options to increase this if you do manage your cards well the representative apr on the card is 29.9 percent but this will vary depending on your circumstances now the tesco bank foundation credit card is still a credit builder card so it makes it more likely that you'll be approved if you have lower or bad credit however there's no guarantee that you'll be accepted so again make sure you use the eligibility checker before applying now the thing that puts the tesco card above the vanquish and the capital one is the rewards and benefits that it offers with the tesco foundation credit card you get two years access to credit view which is run by transunion and allows you to track and monitor your credit score and the effects that you're having on it and you're also able to collect tesco club card points more than the normal club card every time you spend on your credit card you'll earn five points for every four pounds that you spend in tesco Tesco, and also five points for every four pound you spend at Tesco fuel and on top of that you'll get one point for every eight pounds you spend elsewhere now what does that mean well with every 100 points you can convert that to one pound in vouchers those vouchers can be spent in Tesco on groceries or fuel so it's great if you usually shop at Tesco anyway but on top of that you can get up to three times the value of your points on vouchers at Tesco rewards partners and this includes companies like RAC Virgin Atlantic Pizza Express Legoland and more now with all these rewards it can be tempting just to spend a bit more just so you can keep earning rewards but it's important to remember this is not free cash it's a financial tool that at this stage you're just using to build up your credit so only use the card to spend on things that you would have bought anyway like your groceries and your fuel at number two on the list is the asda money select credit card this is another card that's not only a credit builder but also offers you some great rewards you'll get a starting balance of between 250 and 5,000 pounds depending on your circumstances like the others it has no annual fee and the interest rate can range between 34.9% and 43.4% again depending on your circumstances. On the website it only says you need to be over 18 and be a UK resident to apply but again that doesn't mean you're guaranteed to be accepted so make sure you use the eligibility checker. Now the benefits on the Asda Money 
select credit card is what pushes it to number two on the list and it's perfect for anyone who already shops at asda regularly with this card there's actually a sign up bonus and you can receive 20 pounds in asda money which is essentially vouchers to spend at asda if you sign up before the 28th of february this year and spend at least five pounds on the card within the first 60 days with the card you can also earn rewards in the form of one percent of any of your spending within asda returned as asda cash and 0.3 percent on spending elsewhere now those percentages may not actually seem a lot but it's important to remember rewards and benefits on a beginner credit card just aren't actually that common and all these small bits of cashback will add up over time now number one on the list for the best beginner credit card in quarter one of 2023 is the barclay card forwards credit card this card is for those looking to build up their credit score but also comes with some benefits and rewards and one in particular that none of the other cards have again the barclay card forwards credit card has no annual fee and once approved your credit limit will be between 50 and 1200 pounds depending on your circumstances now this credit card has an interest rate of 33.9 percent representative but you can reduce this by three percent if you make all of your payments on time within the first year and you can reduce this a further two percent the following year if you manage your card properly but as you should know by now this doesn't really matter if you're paying your card in full every single month but the one feature that the barclay card forwards credit card offers that none of the other cards do is a three month interest free period on purchases made using the card this is for the first three months of your card and it's perfect if you're looking to make a big purchase that you want to spread out over a couple of months however it's important that you don't get carried away and just blow money on this interest free period because you will have to pay it back and if your balance is not cleared in full when the period is over you'll start paying the high interest rates all the benefits of having this card include up to five months of apple music apple tv plus apple news plus and apple arcade all for free and you also get access to barclay card entertainment which gets you five percent off selected events ten percent off pre-sale tickets and savings on food and drink as well so all those benefits combined is what makes the barclay card forwards credit card the best beginner credit card in 2023 to be eligible to apply you need to be at least 18 years old you can't have been declared bankrupt in the last six years and you can't have more than one ccj on your credit report you also need to have had a permanent uk address for the past two years and must be employed with an income of at least three thousand pounds per year now that criteria is a bit more strict than the other cards but the benefits and the rewards that the cards offer make it worth it now again before you apply for any of these cards make sure you use an eligibility checker to make sure you're likely to be approved and avoid affecting your credit score and if you are completely new to credit cards check out this video here on six beginner mistakes to avoid let me know in the comments if you found this video useful and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one